Now to the fallout from the massive computer hack that the Obama administration says may have compromised the personal information of more than 21 million people. At first, the federal government said only federal employees were targeted, but the administration then said the number was much bigger. As a result, Catherine Archuleta, the embattled head of the Federal Office of Personnel Management, resigned. Juliana Goldman is in our Washington bureau with more on that. Good morning, Juliana. Good morning. Catherine Archuleta had been insisting that she would stay ever since OPM's data breach was first revealed. In fact, last month she said if there's anyone to blame, it's the perpetrators. But after calls from both Republicans and Democrats for her to be fired, she told the president new leadership was needed and he accepted her resignation effective close of business Friday. Given the, the urgent and significant challenges that are facing OPM right now, uh, a new manager with a specialized set of skills and experiences uh, is needed. White House Press Secretary Josh the Earnest said Friday the an president app. was briefed on the full scope of the cyber intrusion over the last few days. When the breach was first revealed in June, the administration said that 4.2 million current and former federal workers were affected. But those numbers quickly ballooned, and this week, officials said the hackers, believed to be from China, accessed the personal information of 21.5 million people, including anyone who had submitted government background checks, their families, and friends. FBI Director James Comey called the stolen data a treasure trove of sensitive information that includes social security numbers, addresses, fingerprints, as well as health and financial histories, making it perhaps the most dangerous cyber intrusion in history. Didn't Accordingly, you? OPM does utilize encryption. We didn't ask you to come read statements. I want to know why you didn't encrypt the information. House Government and Oversight Committee Chairman Jason Chaffetz was among the lawmakers who grilled Archuleta at hearings and called for her to be fired. On Friday, he and members of both parties welcomed the news, saying the administration now needs to get to the bottom of how the breach happened and protect the tens of millions of people affected. One of the ongoing problems is they still haven't fixed the system. We're still feeding the beast. We're pouring information into a system that we know is not safe and secure. And that's not an easy fix, but they have got to get this done right away. The White House says Beth Cobert will replace Archuleta. She comes from the Office of Management and Budget. She'll be the new acting director, but a new permanent replacement will need to be confirmed by the Republican-controlled Senate. Now, Benita officials won't say whether the president's personal information was compromised in the breach or how much credit monitoring and ID theft prevention for more than 22 million people will cost the government. It's a staggering number. Juliana Goldman in Washington, thank you.